Okay, I'm Noelle Diarda of the Diarda Sisters Cosplay. Renny is actually my sister. Um, I think we've been cosplaying for seven years, if I math right. <laughs> um, and my judge's choice is Final Fantasy XIV Warrior of Light White Mage. This, this girl is a novice, and I was really impressed with how she finished her scenes and everything. That seems to be something that a lot of novices forget and you did a great job. Also, your stage performance, it was very energetic and very in character. I liked it. Great job. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm from Black Cat Needlecrafts. I've been cosplaying for about three years now. And my pick for Judge's Choice is Arcade Ari. Your stage presence was phenomenal. And those lights. I've been cosplaying for about 10 or so years, um, and my judge's choice goes to number three, Jolie the Leafeon. party princess. <laughs> um, my uh, choice for her judges, judges choice was number 26, Jill, in the German category. I loved the Lapras. decided that if Lapras was a human, this would be it. Her stage presence was amazing, and the inclusion of the ore as a prop I thought was very, very, very clever. So congratulations. Hello, everybody. My name is Miri. I've been cosplaying for, I think, about 17 years. My judge's choice goes to Sobel. <laughs> we got a lot of Pokemon up here. I just thought everything popped really nicely and it just looks fantastic. was rewarded Judge's Choice, and we'll move on to the next level. Oh, and I was just reminded that we need to give an award to our wonderful MCs who entertained beyond anything that we could have expected. Wonderful job. And they're giving one out. So, we have an award for a contestant who showed a lot of the true spirit of cosplay. Because in the end, that is what cosplay contests are about. It's about having fun, it's about being brave, because these people are brave, man, for getting on this stage. Let's give them all the round of applause for trying something that is so hard to do. 
we are going to give our lunchbox. We would like to see Daisy on the stage, please. Isn't she stunning? This is for you, so you remember us, because we love you, and you did a great job. And let me tell you that even after doing this for math, because we're going to use math apparently as a word, double, we'll just leave it at double digits at point this point and just go on from there. So we've been doing this a long time, and we still get butterflies, and we still get nervous, and it's so much pressure to come up here and be in front of all of you awesome people even though we know that you guys are awesome and you guys know that you're awesome it can still be a really intimidating and scary experience but we get super brave and super awesome people like our gorgeous princess daisy here go ahead and give them a twirl isn't that stunning and we just wanted to thank you for coming and doing this because without contestants we don't have a show <laughs> <laughs> Give Boo Chan a hug. Aww. Thank you, Boo Chan. You're awesome. All right. So now that's back to me. We're gonna go ahead and start handing out our craftsmanship awards. Um, give me two seconds. So you will notice that our awards, we actually only posted that we were giving out a first prize. The judges, however, found it too difficult to basically not give people awards, which I'm okay with because we have medals. So, <laughs> so we're giving a runner up and a best in category this year. Um, all of our uh, awards for the mirrors and everything, those were all donated by uh, Rural Digital Services. They did uh, an amazing job on all the etching on all the mirrors and all of our Judges' Choice Awards. So why don't we give them a round of applause really quick to say thank you. So, without further ado, our runner-up for Novice, Joey Pietzman and Ezio Auditore. I'm Keep giving him applause, guys. I mean, he did awesome. <laughs> All right. So that means that we now have best in novice craftsmanship. So. This one looked amazing, and Judge decided to give this person an award. Bustling Bee Cosplay, Robin from Fire Emblem. Yeah! Best in Novice. And along with these mirrors, they will also get the uh, easels that go along with it. But just for ease of carrying it right now, we're just going to give them the mirrors. They can pick up the easels soon. Or that works. Good job, Deku. Good job. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna go to Journeyman. Journeyman was, I didn't even explain what novice was, did I? Oh my goodness. Novices are beginners. So they're people who have never been up on stage before or have barely made any costumes at all. Um, for our Journeyman, those are the people who have a little bit more experience, may have gotten an award or two um, at other competitions or even our own, but they, they typically are starting to smooth out um, things that they learned when they were novices. So our runner up is Kelsey and Richard of KB Cosplay, Hawk from Dragon Age. I see glowing lights, so I know they're coming. 
If you guys didn't know, I can only see like a first row of people. Everybody else is just black. So having lights makes it easier for me to see if you're coming or not. And this is our crafter and her mom in their awesome armor. Congratulations, guys. All right, yep. Best in Journeyman. Tyrannosaurus Lex Howell from Howell's Moving Castle. Congratulations. Give a round of applause again, guys. There you go. Good job, guys. All right. So then we have Masters class. These are the people who are at the top of their craft. These are people that have either been doing this for a long time and crafting for a long time or might even have professional qualifications. So. Our runner-up in Masters is Kumara Cosplay, I hope I said that right, Little Sister from Bioshock. Wow. Yes, Deku, it was the scary one. Oh, she was over there, oh my goodness. <laughs> nice, ni nice going, Deku, thank you. <laughs> All right. Our best in master class is a little more suspense. Very crafty cr cosplay and wow. Bailey Wolf, Shiri Yuki, and Prince Zen from Snow White and the Red Hair. Congratulations, guys. And before I pass this off for our performance awards, because we have to leave best in show for the last. I'm going to suggest that if any of you want to see these costumes up close, they are freaking amazing. Seriously. Um, go out there into that courtyard, I guess you can call it area, that big gathering area, and just ask to look at their costumes, because their costumes are amazing. Without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to my assistant head, Kathy. Alright! Alright, so here we go. The final three. We do have just one winner in each category, so we'll start with the novice category. For the best novice performance, the judges decided upon the Amazing Jazz, number 12. Shoko and Shimada and Yukito Kurokina. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, you guys! <laughs> All right. So, here we go. <laughs> All right, for best journeyman, this would be our secondary level. We chose number 19, the radio star, Ashley, Kayleen, Bryce, and Jamie. So special. So before I hand out best in show, I 
do want you guys to just give some love to my volunteers because I know that they're around here somewhere. My staff members, they did an amazing job helping me keep my head on straight during this weekend. This is including like my tech people over there, so don't forget over there. Uh, just give all the love to all my cosplay people. They did an amazing job and I, I literally couldn't run the show without them. So uh, I guess without further ado, we should do best in show. Let's do a, a drum roll, please. Best in show for Anime Iowa 2019. Now we have Pay Creations, Tara Branford. I mispronounced that, but I'm fine. Tara, Final Fantasy. <laughs> Along with her best in show plaque, she also won the $300 cash prize. Or, yeah, participating because you guys have totally livened up our our uh, cosplay people here on stage and our MCs and thank you very very much. We appreciate you coming in and seeing the show. Hope you guys have an excellent rest of your con and hope to see you back 2020.